Spark Books here. Today, I'm going to explain the book, Flip the Script, by Orrin Claff. Take care, enjoy the book, and have a nice day. Flip the Script, 2019, helps you up your sales and negotiation game. Sales is all about the art of persuasion but we all know that nobody likes to feel manipulated. In order to sell your idea or product in today's world, your buyers need to feel like they're making the decision on their own terms. Flip the Script provides techniques that allow you to subtly convince anyone that your idea is the right one. Key idea number one, gain instant credibility. Imagine, salespeople talk to prospects, you're almost convinced, nearby, ask him the clincher, cash or credit, start, midway, and terminate your flash roll. Assess the issue like you do every day, using technical terms, describe it, finish with your deal, avoid I think and in my opinion, fast and emotionless, to make it automatic, script, rehearse, and memorize it. In the following flash, we'll discuss how to make your message stick with clients. I'm not sure, he says, I'll have to think about it and talk it over with my family. Heartbreak, this rarely attracts prospects, sales have plummeted, why? The hesitant buyer likely had a certainty gap, he doubts you can deliver. Fix this? The point, gain instant credibility. Salespeople instinctively fill certainty gaps with information, she'll list delighted clients, tout novel features, and break down the price to demonstrate her great value. That doesn't answer the client's main concern. Can she fulfill what she promises? Answering this question requires expertise. Flash rolls are the best way to demonstrate expertise quickly. This rapid fire information dump shows your mastery of a complicated subject. It should take 60 to 90 seconds and convince even the most dubious audience. Flash roll example, computer crashes. You bring your laptop to the shop and explain the symptoms, telling the specialist that your virus protection software is current. Sounds like the new homestead bug, the tech replies, unless you update your virus protection every two hours, it definitely wouldn't catch it. He then describes the infection in great detail and offers a technical treatment. You may not comprehend everything, but you trust him to fix your situation. Start, midway, and terminate your flash roll. Assess the issue like you do every day. Using technical terms, describe it. Finish with your deal. Avoid I think and in my opinion. Fast and emotionless. To make it automatic, script, rehearse, and memorize it. In the following flash, we'll discuss how to make your message stick with clients. Key idea number two, addressing pre-wired notions lets us anticipate and answer questions. New knowledge travels through three phases in your brain. Perceive, process, store, why? Your client wants to know that you're invested and won't depart after the sale. Create a brief narrative that shows your financial, physical, and contractual commitment. Your investment should match or exceed your potential clients. After satisfying these three pre-wired concepts, you may go into the details of your service. However, there is a limit to information. This only works for information you have idea receptors for. New, unrelated information won't be stored or processed properly. How can you make sure purchasers remember your information? Focus on universal concepts. The point, addressing pre-wired notions lets us anticipate and answer questions. Threats are pre-wired beforehand. Threats grab our attention. Reward is the second instinct. We always want a huge payoff, especially if it's easy. Fairness is our final response. We must demonstrate our commitment to risk-taking. Why should I care? Why me and why you? How to answer these three crucial questions. Why should I care? Show your customer how the world is changing and warn her she may be left behind. She can only compete by buying your stuff. Times two answers what's in it for me? We rarely buy new TVs. New TVs are usually minor upgrades from current versions. When a TV with double the resolution arrives, we're intrigued. If you can double production or half expenses, your client will respond. Why? Your client wants to know that you're invested and won't depart after the sale. Create a brief narrative that shows your financial, physical, and contractual commitment. Your investment should match or exceed your potential clients. After satisfying these three pre-wired concepts, you may go into the details of your service. However, there is a limit to information. Key idea number three, use client-friendly language in your proposal. Everyone wants to pioneer. Salespeople are similar. Your product or service could change the world is exciting. Clients may disagree. They may hesitate. Human nature, we stop when we see something new. Your clients may wonder, sure, this amazing product may appear tempting, but what are the risks? They choose the familiar over the unexpected. The lesson? This blinks message, use client-friendly language in your proposal. Over 1000 ice cream varieties exist. Lots. The most common is vanilla. Why is obvious. Vanilla is familiar, but foreign flavors may be intriguing. We can customize it. 
Pitch your concept, product, or opportunity in simple words. You love its distinctive features. Buyers will be most interested in its familiarity. Don't hide all the cool new features, but you should aggregate them and exhibit them to show that your product is the new normal. You want investors for a new bar and restaurant. The bar has nine playable miniature golf holes and a beautiful location. Focusing just on how fun bar golf is will likely turn off more people than it attracts. Instead, highlight your vast beer selection, fantastic chef, and parking. Show how themed bars like sports bars and arcade bars are popular when you present the golf idea. More is wanted. Your themed bar is the ordinary. Your idea is always based on something familiar. Find the right mix of old and modern to seal the deal. Key idea number four, sales success requires pessimism. Salespeople are the ultimate optimists and will do whatever they can to spread that optimism. Their product is unbreakable and a lifetime deal. They'll address your concerns. However, this only pressures the customer. After this, give the buyer control. That's what I do, not do you have any questions. She can doubt your idea, but you've addressed 99.99% of her concerns by focusing on essential areas. Saying a lot of things go into a decision like this but just these three actually count will help her stay on track. Focus on them and everything will work out. You may quickly overcome objections and lessen the chance of a missed transaction by targeting your client's concerns. Buyers ask queries out of reasonable mistrust that the deal is too good to be true. They're crucial to buying. Great salespeople don't dismiss buyer skepticism. He'll profit. The point, sales success requires pessimism. Create a buyer's formula to use buyer pessimism. This empowers your buyer while giving you control. Watch it work. I've dealt with this sort of problem hundreds of times establishes your expertise. Next, list some of your proposal's clear failure points to anticipate customer complaints. Imagine selling bikes. You sell a cheap city bike. Remind the buyer that cheap doesn't equal quality to anticipate their concerns. Tell them this city bike may be used for trekking. Move on to other counterintuitive ideas your customer may not have considered. You may argue that carbon fiber is for professionals and too delicate for ordinary bike riders. Next, Describe the expected activities your consumer will take, such as paying for safety equipment or other necessities. To highlight some less obvious activities that you'd only know if you've done this before. Once the consumer is comfortable with her bike, the bike salesman can upgrade. After this, give the buyer control. That's what I do, not do you have any questions. She can doubt your idea, but you've addressed 99.99% of her concerns by focusing on essential areas. Saying a lot of things go into a decision like this but just these three actually count will help her stay on track. Focus on them and everything will work out. You may quickly overcome objections and lessen the chance of a missed transaction by targeting your client's concerns. Key idea number 5. Be yourself. Charisma isn't teachable. It's either present or absent. That's true, but charisma doesn't make a good seller. Buyers want trustworthiness. Being confident, calm, and steadfast is key. Be yourself. Five archetypes describe salespeople. Check for familiarity. Your best friend. Welcome. From where? Wow, I'm related. She'll then huckster you with every detail about her great product. If that doesn't work, she becomes a miracle worker, making unproven claims that her product will improve your life. French fries will never look the same. A docile angel floats the trial near. When you have misgivings, the angel changes into a wolf and dismisses your concerns. The incident leaves you clueless. When you switch personas, smart purchasers can spot most sales strategies. It makes them suspicious. Buyers value authenticity and knowledge. Be honest, people will see through deception. When you truly believe in your concept, product, or service, it shows. Nobody knows your product better than you. Trust your expertise. Your confidence will instill confidence in your customers. Keep going if your confidence falters. Indecision might indicate weakness. I may not always be right, but I'm never in doubt can wow buyers. Showing who you are and sticking to your values, ideas, and ideals helps make your point. Sales extends beyond goods and services. We must sell ideas, projects, and opinions eventually. Flipping the script, controlling the dialogue, and establishing your reputation can make your idea seem natural and inevitable to purchasers. To view more content like this, subscribe. Don't forget to like and turn on notifications. The channel really benefits from it. I appreciate you being here.